I think that you know, working as a writer's assistant, I think working as an intern, I think working around writers in any way, I think that's really good because you're, you're, you can read what they're working on, you can talk to them about it. Um, and I also think just having a normal job and then writing during your free time is also totally legitimate because that doesn't mean that you're not, it doesn't mean you're not actively a writer, it doesn't mean you're not a writer, it just means that your, your day job does not have the title of, you know, that you're not actively working towards that. You, does that make sense? I mean, I think that, I, 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 th I think that, you know, there are so many people I know who, you know, you know, worked, worked at Starbucks during the day and, you know, came home at night and worked on a screenplay and then, you know, are now, you know, successful screenwriters. So I, I think it's just uh, sometimes it, it, it's about, you know, the, you know, being in the right place at the right time or, you know, just, uh, you know, sometimes it's circumstantial. I feel really strongly that it doesn't matter what you do mm -hmm. during the day. You got to live. So, yeah. but you're a writer. And as long as you're committed to the work, it doesn't matter if you're doing it in the afternoon. It doesn't matter if you're sitting there all day. It doesn't matter if you know other writers. It doesn't matter. You uh, take the craft seriously and you do what you need to do to write. And, you know, if you've got a full time job, you write at night. If you've got kids, you write when they go to sleep. If you can only do it on the weekend, you only do it on the weekend. If you can only do it one day a week, do it one day a week. Do what you can do, but get that out of you. Mm -hmm.